Hello all, in this video I'll talk about how to configure and personalize list and form in ServiceNow. Let's open incident table list, type incident in left navigator, open, click on open module, it's a list, a list displays a set of records information from a data table and a form displays one record information from data table. Here you are seeing a list which is displaying a set of records information from incident table. This is title bar. If you want to filter list records then you can click on this filter icon and here you can set condition similar way you can filter list records from here now I just want to see this incident to get details then I'll pass incident number here this is bracket. Here you can see activity string. And this is the way you can go to next page, previous page, last page, and first page. This is response time indicator. Click on this icon to preview this record information. These are operators. Here you can see all the fields on incident table. If you want to see it related fields, then click on this. This is used when you want to do dot walking. Dot walking is used to have access on fields on related tables. I'll discuss about it in my upcoming videos these are column headings from here user can apply filter or user can do search and similar way user can do search from here by applying filter if user want to modify more than one record then he can select Records, multiple records from here, and then can set or can update records at one time. The similar way when a user want to apply action on one or more records, or you can say rows, then you can select those rows from here. And can apply action. User also can solve the data in ascending or descending order. Right click on column heading. You also can search data from column. Right click here. And click on show mention it will display all the records details for those priority is critical it will display all the records information for those categories not network now I'll show you how can you configure and personalize list right click on column heading and click on configure you will see here three options list layout list calculation list control
choose fields those you want to display on list here you can set the view if you want to create a new field you can add it from here and click on save button If you are configuring the list, then we are configuring the list layout for all the users. But if you are personalizing it, then you are personalizing this for yourself. You click on this gear icon to personalize list. To personalize a list, click on this gear icon or to configure a list, then right click on column heading and click on configure and select list layout. Now I'll talk about list calculation. I'll select all three options and click on OK button. And that's the way you can set list calculation for curricular column. Now I'll show you how to configure list control. You can see there are so many options are available to configure list control. To get more information about this option, you can refer for a documentation. This option will omit new button from list. This option will omit any button for list. If you select edit type as disable list editing, so you are not able to edit list data. Here you can set roles who only can see edit button, who can see filters, who can see or drill down into records. Now it, now it is not allowing to edit any data from list. Also you can see there is no new button display. Now I will show you how to configure form. Click on this icon to open this bracket. Right click on this form. Click on configure and select form layout if you want to display business duration on the form select this field and select where you want to display this field I want to display this field below configuration item and here you also can select section on the form in which section you should display as well as you can select the view name here if you want to create a new field then you can create it from here now you can see this field that's the way you can configure form layout for all the users you cannot personalize the form for one particular user as I already told you that a form displays one record information from data table. This is form header. Here you can see incident number. These are fields. These are sections. These are buttons available on the form. You also can see button here. Here you can attach document with this incident. Here you can see activity screen. By clicking on this arrow, you can go to next record. These are related links. 
and these are creating lists by clicking on this icon you can personalize this form by clicking on this icon you can see more options like you can add tag here you can email here you also can see additional actions you can copy this incident you can create problem from this incident you can create request you can create child incident you can create normal change request create emergency change request there are so many options available you also can see config configure option here you also can switch to another view you can export the data in pdf format an XML format. There are so many options available. By clicking on this, you can reload this form. Now I'll show you how to create an incident. Type incident in left navigator. Click on create new module. Select caller from here. As caller is a reference field, so it is fetching the data from another table, and this is the another table which we are using here to select caller information, select category from here, subcategory, define short description, so you can define description, so you can set priority. On the basis of impact and urgency, if you select impact and urgency as high, then priority will change to one critical. Okay. And here you can select contact type and click on submit button. Now your incident has been created. This is the incident. You want to do some modification, then update field which you want to modify. Now there are two ways to save this record. One is to click on update button and second one is click on form header and click on save button. If you are clicking on save button, it will save the record but will remain on this page. But if you will choose this option and you will click on update button, and then it will save the record but it will go to previous page if i click on this now it is running me to previous page which was incident list update this field one one more time and now choose save option click on save button now it has updated the record but we are on the same page that's the difference between update and save. Thank you so much for watching this video.